Hey, what's going on guys? Beeflen here with a brand new video today. Today we're going to be talking about how to gain XP in Temtem at a very quick and rapid rate. Your end game, you're about level 70, level 80, maybe level 90, and it takes forever to get to that level 100 point so that you can do your other activities, and that's holding you back. Let's go ahead and talk about some of the methods to get to that point of uh, max level. Now the first thing I want to talk about is shrines, because shrines hold a lot of XP depending on which one that you go to. There are multiple different versions of shrines. There are the crystal shrine, there's the melee shrine, there's the fire shrine, water shrine. All of these shrines hold a bunch of tamers in front of them, and in order to proceed through to the shrine, you have to take the type of what they have, and you have to beat them with just that type. So bring in six melees, for example, on the melee shrine that I'm at here. There's also one in the aquamarine caves. There's one in uh, the Zolot Reserve. There's one in the um, uh, there's one in Aisha's Heart, which is basically on uh, the Geno Gap. It's on the right hand side of the Geno Gap. And uh, yeah, so with these shrines, you got to beat these tamers. There's one, two, three, and then there's a tamer master. So after you defeat all four of them with their uh, corresponding type, not only do you get XP from that battle, of course, but you also get access to the grass in the back. Now there's two Ys that spawn here at 5% rate, and then there's a highlighted Tem that spawn there's also. So the crystal one is Zenerith, this one here is Brock Golem, there's uh, Asukais, uh, things like that. And they have uh, certain increments of levels. Some are level 50, some are level 80. The Melee Shrine is level 100. So if you need that XP, those are the places to get them. If uh, We're going to come back to Shrines actually at the end of the video, so uh, stay tuned if uh, you're unable to do it, but you're still interested in doing it. The number two thing that I wanted to talk about is the items called Learning Aids. Now, Learning Aids, I found out, can apparently be bought in the uh, Auction House. I don't think they used to be. Now, this is going to be super important because you get extra XP uh, for half an hour or uh, even an hour if you have the learning aid plus. So these are really, really good to pop just before you start doing your level grinds. And finally, if you saw my previous video, if not, you can see where to get it. The Coward's Cloak is actually a really good item as well. And the Coward's Blanket. Uh, I did a video on the Coward's Blanket recently, so uh, if you haven't uh, checked that out yet, make sure to go ahead and pop the video. I'll put a link in the description or like a little card so you can click there right away. Very, very, very good to uh, level up multiple of your Thames. And uh, finally, I wanted to talk about the shrines again because the shrines can be difficult if you don't have one of uh, the same type for all of your squad. Now, I do stream this game on Twitch. I'll go ahead and uh, pop my link up there. Twitch.tv slash bflatten is where you can find me. Now... On streams, if anybody needs help to get carried through the shrines, if anybody needs uh, eggs so that they want to uh, get their favorite Tem uh, attached to them and uh, hatch one, I do give up free gifts as well. You can catch me on there from Tuesdays to Saturdays at a 5.30 p.m. Central Standard Start Time. I usually go for about six plus hours, so you have plenty of time and opportunity to catch me. If anybody needs any assistance or help with anything, Pop on by, let me know, we'll see what we can do for you. Other than that, my name is B Flatten, guys, and I'm signing on out of here. Take care, all. Laters.